Hey everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. Oh, I had a hell of a night last night. No drinking, just Trust stupidity. And the dead. Not my stupidity, of course, but the stupidity of others. And frankly, it made for one hell of a fucking awful night. So I'm running on less than two hours worth of sleep. Fucking tired, so this is going to be a short episode, I think. But, such is life. Okay, uh, let's see. That Solar is full of shit. I say frag her and call it a... You can't really frag her because all of her events are basically scripted. There's no interaction possible. So you're basically screwed. Um, maybe it's a lack of trust from Shadowrun. Well, I was going to say one thing about the Solar. I suppose it's possible for you to uh, enable the cheat keys, which would allow you to, you know, you put your cursor on someone and... You hit the button and it'll kill him. You know, like Control Y or some shit like that. I don't remember what it was. Or Control K. I don't remember what it was. But anyway. I think that works during cinemas too. But the thing, the only thing that would actually change is you would wind up with Biff the Understudy in place of the Solar. Because the game is set up where if a character that's supposed to be as part of a cinema is dead, then Biff the Understudy comes in and takes care of their lines and whatnot. But uh, back to the comment. Uh, maybe it's a lack of trust from Shadowrun, but are we really supposed to take the Solar summons at face value? For all we know, this ghost is lying and your mom worked the drive through at McDonald's? Yeah, I mean, it is telling the truth, because remember, Forgotten Realms and other stuff like that didn't really tend to do the, uh, the twists and subtleties and shit like that all that well. Forgotten Realms, like Greyhawk... Oh, sorry. Greyhawk and uh, Dragonlance always tended to be kind of upfront about most of their storylines and things like that. You know, it was basic D and D. It wasn't, you know, anything really each day we see crazy. It, it wasn't like say um oh what the hell is that called? Uh that world you fucking played in a year ago playthrough. Fuck, I can't think of the damn name. My brain is just fucking fried. Or Ravenloft, there's Ravenloft too. Or distrust and things like that kind of happen. Dark Sun, that's the other world I was thinking of. That would be, and back to this, that would be TSR specifically, Skip Williamson's team, because that's a progression in the hype little campaign. But yeah, but I don't have one of those in front of me right now. Please, please spare me. I beg you. Saving wench? Begging won't save you now. We will make a harsh example of you, and maybe others will think twice before they steal from us. Please, my daughter meant no harm. Her motives were pure, even if her actions were wrong. Pure? How do you justify your daughter's theft of her hard-earned gold, Mayor Harad? But anyway, yeah. It, it, still, the level progression kind of sucks a little. Okay, um, five for the most dangerous ball spawn sounds about right. Yeah, but the OG character wasn't a ball spawn. Anyway, thanks for the comment. Oh, and by the way, for those on YouTube who are curious, um, I'm not seeing this comment on YouTube. I'm seeing it on BitChute. I don't know what the hell. YouTube's got its head up its ass again. Cue fucking surprise. Anyway, thanks for the comment, and back to the show. People are starving. Food is scarce. Hassana needed your money to buy bread from the black market to feed the poor. The problems of your town are not our problems, Mayor. Your excuses cannot justify your daughter's crimes. Stay clear, Mayor. You can do nothing here. Make peace with your god, Asana. Your life is forfeit. Please. Will no one help my daughter? Will no one stand against these brutes who have invaded our town? Hush, Father. The townsfolk are scared. They will not intervene. I must accept the consequences of my actions. Thank you. I fear those mercenaries will execute us right in the street if someone does not speak to them on her behalf. Please hurry! Okay, uh, who's got the best, uh... Charisma's 15. Charisma's 10. 15. 11. Wow, this is not going to turn out well. 16. Okay, so Emmeline's going to do the job. Yep. Gotcha. Do I know you? Oh, boy. Be 
Your guest in this town, the daughter of the mayor, dare, dares to take her gold. It's an insult that must be repaid in blood. Ah, hell. Crap bastard. That's a lot of cash for me right now, but... At least I got this stupid fucking bitch saved. Okay, yeah. fuck face. I saved your idiot daughter. This is worth it. My daughter owes you her life. I wish I had more to give. But I insist you accept this small reward. I will tell all of them, Catherine, how you saved my beloved Asana. Okay, well. Okay, so we've got, let's see here. Montolio's Cloak. Not usable by chaotic good, chaotic evil, chaotic neutral, neutral evil, level evil, yada, yada, yada. So who can actually use this piece of shit? Um... Well, right now it's not worth anything, so we'll throw this motherfucker in here. Container's full, that's right. Okay. We have to get the class of Montolio's cloak in order to fucking get anything going on here, so... Destiny awaits. So you thought your smugglers could sell our stolen gear and get away with it, eh, Asaman? Yep. Even though I managed to fucking stabify that piece of shit. If you remember from the uh, OG Baldur's Gate 2 video, I managed to catch up to the guy and kill his ass before he got away and collect the EPs. Um, nope, he's back. Some asshole had a raise dead or resurrection spell available, apparently. Or should we just call you Seiman? We know all about your shady reputation, Seiman Avarian. Now, let's not do anything hasty, gentlemen. As you know, I could not have been involved, as I have only recently returned to M. Kethran. Apparently the save import did not import his live or dead status. But then again, killing him is usually kind of a... Uh, it's not really intended to actually happen. It's not supposed to be a choice you can actually do, but they don't really do the uh, essential characters like uh, Elder Scrolls does from Oblivion onward. Save it, you weasel. We know you run the smugglers here in Amkethran, so you're the one to blame. We've been waiting for you. Hand over our stuff, Simon, or we'll slit your lying, cheating throat. Oh, well, of course, I, uh, by my sea salt stinging eyes. Look who's coming this way. A familiar face from my past. Your arrival is a happy coincidence, given the situation. You can actually solve my dispute with these rather upset gentlemen. You a friend of this double-crossing rat? This doesn't concern you. This is between us and Seymour. Just keep walking. Oh, yeah, you motherfucker. So you're looking for a fight? Well, you've got one. We'll teach you to steal our stuff. Of course. Stand before me. For glory. For glory. Give me some direction. Oh. Hold still. Let's do this. Quick and speed. Okay. 
So that piece of shit teleported yes, away. No, not that. Okay, well, I can't do anything else. Okay, we've got gems to deal with. That's why. King's Tears. I think I need that for one of the recipes. Unfortunately, the recipes aren't noted, or at least they weren't in the original disc-based version. Uh, oh, and speaking of the cheat keys, that was available in the disc-based version. I don't know if it's actually available in this. And uh, also, there was a way to duplicate items in the original one. Uh, like, for instance, let's take something, uh... Okay, we'll, we'll try this. Okay, well, you've got that. There's Heart Seeker, open container. Okay, no, it looks like they may have they may have fixed that. Okay, well, anyway, it used to be you could duplicate it, and if you clicked outside of the uh, thing without hitting complete, it would basically um, duplicate the item. But that was an old trick there. I'm wondering how the hell those other items I have got duplicated then. That's just fucking weird. That's some glitchy shit. Wait, this isn't even magical. Well, this piece of shit can get thrown on the ground then. Yeah, this is all sales goods. Won't well, good enough it's for its war. I don't think that helm there is worth much, so. It would be nice if uh, Viconia's lore was high enough to actually identify this shit without, you know being a major problem. But whatever, it's fine. This is all good shit for, you know, looting and whatnot. Can't she actually use a shield? I don't know. We'll see. Oh wait. What do you want? Gotta get those eight thousand EPs. In. Okay. I'm waiting. I am yours as you desire. These mercenaries have filed a complaint that you are selling stolen goods, Keras. This operation is closed, and all merchandise is forfeit to the monastery. This is ridiculous. The monastery's never objected to our actions in the past. Tell us where a salmon is, Keras, and we will let you go. Isaman isn't here. I haven't seen him in weeks. Then I will arrest you instead. For your sake, I hope Isaman shows up before we find it necessary to interrogate you. No, you can't do this. This is an outrage. When did the monastery become a puppet slave to the whims of a bunch of foreign mercenaries? Silence, Karis. Wait. What is this? It seems we have a would-be customer in our midst. The infamous child of Baal, if the descriptions of Balthazar are at all accurate. Look, Boo, everyone knows Fyfor now. Oh, wonderful. See how his fame spreads like a scented cloud from your furry backside when you have had one too many crackers. The fact that these men know you by mere sight worries me, Fyfor. Tread with care or every move is being closely watched. Yeah. Stand aside. 
I will not allow Balthazar's work to be interrupted by the likes of you. You show great wisdom. Brothers, let us close down this den of criminal activity. If that is your will. Okay, well, I thought I would have to fight them. Maybe not. Okay, you want to do your thing. Good to go. Shaw, guide trust is for the foolish and the dead. Okay, I might have botched that. Um, yeah, okay. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, that was a botch. Nature's servant awaits. Trust is for the foolish and the dead. These mercenaries have faces. The silence, Karis. Wait, what is this? Do Let's arms, cut right to the good brothers. stuff, yeah. We are attacked! <laughs> ah, shit. Gotta take care of something. Okay, that was related to last night's issues. Shit is hopefully wrapped up completely. Gotta, one, gotta love having cops show up at your house at like fucking 2.30 in the morning, though. It's always fucking awesome, right? Okay, let me see Give here. Give me some direction. What is that? Okay, whatever. Anyway. Let's try this. I don't know if it's going to affect these guys. Ah, right, what the hell. Okay, are they all gone? Thank you for your assistance yes. in this unpleasant matter. I'm sure if Simon were here himself, he would offer his thanks as well. Okay, two. Ah, oh, yes. Him, yes, well, be it that as it may, I still think some type of reward is in order for helping us in this matter. With our erstwhile leader gone, the best I can offer, best I can do is offer you a discount on goods. The scope of my authority is somewhat limited in his absence, you understand. Okay. One. Of course, you must realize that we cannot stay here at Nam Catherine now that we have been involved in the death of several of Balthazar's envoys. I suggest you use your discount soon. If you return tomorrow, our little store will be long gone. We cannot stay and suffer the wrath of Balthazar's vengeance. Two. Okay. Now we'll start getting rid of shit. Longsword plus one. That can go away. The charge ability. That's really tempting to get rid of that fucking sword. Flame of the North. What the hell does that do? F plus four extra. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, we need the long sword. Yeah, we, that that has to stay. Well, sorry. Oh, damn it. They're named swords, so I don't really want to get rid of named swords. Okay, well. Arg, I can't help it. It's just too hard. I can't do it. Can't do it! <laughs> okay, water's edge. Okay, we'll keep that shit. Open the gym bag. Open the container. We can do three of these. Four of those. Three of those. Gotta keep the king's tears. Not gonna sell any of those. I don't remember how many he said. I think it was maybe one. But I'm not gonna take any chances. I should have sufficient King's Tears now. 
Yes, I will take two of those. Absolutely. I can absolutely use that money. Pearl, diamond. Okay, good. Okay, again to Dragomir's Respite. Okay, uh... The kneecapper. I don't think we're going to face any more giants, and frankly, this didn't get... Well, it's also named, so nah, I'll keep it for now. Damn it. I don't really use daggers, so I'm just going to shit can that. It's an extra grand. Yeah, I think these ran out, so I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, uh, no, maybe I'm better. Uh, shit, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm loath to get rid of stuff like this. I can't help it. It's just built in. Another armor plus one. Okay, good. Yes, we can depths. We'll get rid of that shit. That's for damn sure. Two-handed sword plus one. Ice star plus four. Nope, keeping that. Okay, apparently I wound up with two more of those. Whatever, I don't care. Longsword plus three. Heart Seeker plus three. Okay, 20 grand out of that. Okay, close container. Down to the bag of holding. Jor the Bleeder. Bodhi's Black Heart. What the fuck am I supposed to do with Bodhi's fucking Black Heart? Maybe donate it to a temple or something? We'll have to try that. And how the hell... I still haven't gotten rid of those. That's a worth a lot of money, but and it feels too much like an absolute massive fucking cheat. Still wondering what the fuck. I thought I got rid of those, though. The fuck ever. Because I don't put scrolls in the fucking bag here. It gets put in the... uh. Scroll cases. It's not the first time I've had a whole bunch of shit show up. Maybe the fucking save game editor's not patched up for this fucking version. But I did have to have the, uh... Uh... The bronze pantaloons, thank you they were. Well, anyway. 22 grand, so we'll sell that shit off. Alright, good. I'm tempted to sell the fucking Whale of the Banshee Scrolls, but I'm not too sure what'll happen if I do. I'll take their potions of superior healing. Buy those. Potions of Master Thievery, yeah, those would be good for Emoin. Help her become actually somewhat useful. A couple more oils of speed. Okay, uh... Okay, again, Kitty's Bowl Plate. Magic Resistance plus 5%. Immunity to Backstab. Can anybody use this? Okay, I don't know if this, is, this stuff's actually usable. 
um, in the uh, with Cespinar or not. Identify three times a day. That's nice, but ah, oh, what the hell? Gargoyle boots. Hmm. I'm seriously considering grabbing that shit. What's a rod of reversal? Uh, that's gonna wear right out really fucking quick, though. Where did his stuff go? Um, I wind up. I wound up buying it. That's why. Wow. Okay. What about that Klogoroth throwing axe? I don't have anybody who's really going to be using it, but... Or Korgoroth, or whatever the fuck that thing was called. Sling plus three. That's only a little over a grand, so what the hell. Alright, let's get out of here. I, didn't, I don't really care about that fucking throwing axe, because I don't use throwing axes. All right, um, okay, so who was buying? Was it her? Okay, it was him. What's this armor do? Doubles movement rate. I don't really want to take that away from her, though, because that's basically a free haste. Play to ball to run, yeah, that's, that's one of the charisma. Sure, up pex plate, uh, dexterity plus one, fire resistance twenty percent. That uh, armor's not really all that useful, then, is it? Who's got you got it? Okay, you can give that to him. He can put that shit away. What's uh, let's see, plus four, plus three. Ah, uh, that, 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 no good. No fucking good. Worthless, worthless, worthless. I'm not going to reload and redo that fight. So I'm just going to stick with this shit and who knows. It might actually turn out to be either upgradable by Cespinar or it might be something useful. But either way... Okay, well she's got the uh, glasses. So who can use those? Uh, we'll put them on him. No, these are... These go on his head, so I think... I forget what the hell this does. Uh, hit points plus 10. Seven of the eighth level spell. Okay, well, we want to keep that. We're going to keep that right here. Replace our... Uh, scroll there. I think everything is pretty much taken care of then. I guess. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Fucking tired. Don't really care anymore. Let's get Emma in level depth and get her ready to do something special. Saving throws improved, which is good. Abilities. Extra 7th level spell. I will take that slot. Okay, done. Alright, let's get her extra spells going on. Let's get a well warding whip would be good for her. That would be good to be able to uh remove spell protections. Alright, let's loot yes, these Sibir. fuckers. I shall follow your strength. I mean it would have been nice to loot them before talking, but you aren't given that option. It's not much money anyway, so I'm not really missing out much. Yep. Gotcha. I await your need. Okay, well I guess we're gonna have to make everybody who can punch. cast this shit cast it. Ustanza dost. Yes. CEO the GG. Now that's a fucking way to make them find a trap. Alright. 
Hey, Moin, what you do you your want? thing. Good to go. Just a little more experience points to go, and I'm waiting. I yeah, keep on works. fucking waiting, pal. Okay, well, good. That's potions. That's gems. More shit to sell. Anybody use that? No. Control undead. Hmm. Oh, look, we can make vampires do shit they don't want to do. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> Stop staking yourself, vampire. Stop staking yourself. <laughs> I would have too much fucking fun with that shit. Done. We're gonna break that shit down. There will be vampires staking themselves. So help me. Okay, that should be good for now. Okay. Alright, I think that's it for the smugglers. I think I've gotten everything I'm going to get from them. Awaits. You we all have gather to your party before get out of here before all the, the corpses draw attention. Okay. Now, Natha. The monster cows repair your weapons. What the fuck? Wait, did I get credit for it? No. Damn it. Your monastery once cared for this town, but under Balthazar you have abandoned us. The people are starving and your master does nothing. Balthazar is concerned with greater matters, old man. Bah! He is gathering mercenaries and wizards for an army. How is this more important than bringing in food for the starving children? You have no idea of the events that the monastery has set in motion. Go back to your prayers and leave me alone. No, this is too important. In the name of Joaquin, I demand a meeting with Balthazar. He must be made to see the insanity of his callous actions. You make no demands of me or the monastery. Balthazar cares nothing about this pathetic town. Go beg your dead god to feed these people. Blasphemer! I will stand for your monastery's tyranny no longer. You dare attack me, old man? Your death shall be quick and painful. Shouldn't it be slow and painful? Because, you know, it kind of misses the point if he's killed quickly but painfully. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe that's just my way of thinking. I mean, you light a motherfucker on fire, you know, but of course you try to keep air going towards their face so they can keep breathing so the smoke doesn't suffocate them, you know. Evil shit like that, but quick and painful? Come on. Okay. All right, yeah, everybody jump this fucker. Nature with vengeance. With vengeance. Okay. He was attacking an old man. I had to step in. I fight who I want, when I want. Balthazar cannot be bothered with such petty matters as these, so I will let you off with a warning. In the future, do not involve yourself in the business of Balthazar or his monks. Tidings abound. I thank you for your inf intervention. I fear the monk would have killed me had you not stepped in. No, thank you. I'm just looking for an excuse to start a fight. So, any kind of reward for saving your withered old carcass? 
That'd be nice. I was wrong to let my temper get the better of me, but I cannot just sit idly by while people starve. Why can't you just buy the food for them yourself? The church has spent all of its coin. Ah, what the hell. I'm uh. beginning to tire of spending my time with fools. Well, yeah, I gotta do something about my reputation, like right now. Whoa! How long do you intend to For the with back? Okay. Ugh, my legs are just. Aching. So who the fuck just died, though? I've Hold never on. walked so much in my life. Can, can we rest now? Oh wow! That just it just snuffed a kid. That's why he didn't have any chance against him. So what the hell? Did all these idiots over here get killed? Rest would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. Well, how about these idiots endangering the rest we of the fucking village, soon. pulling up lumber holes? Who is getting squirrely? You asked for it. I'm no use to anyone tired. Can't you see I'm busy? My archers need to stay in top form. I can't be wasting my time yapping with some slack-jawed yokel. Like that one that just did? Oh, goody. Do I have any more tastes? No, I do not. I wonder if these guys, how low level these guys are. Let's find out. Not low level enough. Okay. Give me some direction. Do we have any innocents around here that's gonna totally bone me? It doesn't look like it, so fuck it. Let's just do it. Yeah. That's how I didn't totally screw myself on this. Okay, uh, where's this asshole? Is this the leader? It's the leader. Okay, I don't want her carrying this stuff. Rest would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. Okay, so she's full up on stuff. Swords, not where yeah, Minsk no goes, evil stands aside. Wait, what are you? A mercenary? Okay, good. Victory shall be ours. Right. You know this. Another level. Very good. That is one great thing about throwing a ball, though, is you will level really fucking fast. Which is good because uh, you need those levels, even if for no other reason than for the better saving throws. But, I mean, the access to better spells is nice too, but saving throws. What about my fucking spell? Um, whatchamacallit? Extra seventh level spell. I've got the summoning stuff down. Don't need Dragon's Breath right now. I'll take a spell slot, I guess. Yeah, no other spell slots, damn it. I am verklimped. Give me another warding whip. Those are pretty good to have. I want to be able to rip strip people's spell protections easily. Marlowe's home. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to get to this fuckhead's house. I think we go here. 
And then once we get to his house, we'll talk to him. And then once we're done with that, then we're going to call that an episode. I believe we go in here. Okay, so we're missing someone else. Hey, there she is. There's the ladder. If that is your will. And then we have to climb the cliff. I think this is the house, right? We must rest and soon. Dead. Oh, Who is getting squirrely? <sighs> Rest would be welcome. You must gather your we party before ourselves. venturing forth. You are welcome here. Welcome to my humble accommodations, my lord. Will you hear out my tale? Go ahead. Actually, I came to kill you, Marlo. No offense. I just do that sort of thing. Well, you know, kind of true for the tabletop at times. Just sort of depended. It depended on who I had for a DM, too, to be honest. Because if the DM was, like, putting out some lame fucking world, then you tended to be a little less appreciative of it, shall we say. But then again, one of my first DMs brought the fucking Power Rangers into the game. So you can understand where that attitude would have come from. I outgrew it relatively quickly, as long as shit didn't get too fucking ridiculous. Okay. Go ahead. As I said before, my name is Marlo. I hail from Kalem Shan to the south, where I was a merchant. A successful one. I suppose it's where I first came into contact. Von Goth. Von Goth? Who is that? A lich, my lord. A powerful one. In Kalem Sham, there are many strange wonders of match, and Von Goth is not out of place. It is he who chased us here, hunting us mercil mercilessly. Why would a lich be hunting you? Von Goth desired my poor Mala, my daughter. She is a young woman here on the bed. A uh, good girl, a virgin and pure of heart. He desired her soul, he said. So I fled to Camelish and with her. Blah, fucking can't talk. But he caught up to us nevertheless. And somehow he has taken her soul despite my efforts. She, she lies near death and there is nothing the local priests can do to help her. I know Von Goth is in the cavern that serves as the graveyard in this place. I told the monks about him, but they sealed off the cavern rather than somehow getting my daughter's soul back as I had hoped. Mala is the world to me, my lord, and I do not know how much longer Von Goth will remain trapped in that cavern. He could already be loose. He will kill me and keep Mala's soul. I am sure of it. I beg you, my lord, please help us. Alright, well, I'm going to stop reading because I'm tired of it. But anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> I will do what I can. I'm no use to anyone tired. Yeah, we're going to go sleep. I shall sleep, follow your strength. And then we are going to uh, call that an episode. I think that's sufficient. That seems like a good I plan. serve Shar above all others, but I shall remain with you for now. So I can't think of anything else right now to actually do. Destiny awaits. Oh, I need to find out where the hell to find the, uh, uh, the last, um, pantaloons. They're here in town somewhere. As a matter of fact, give me just a moment. I'm going to, that's going to be my last thing. If I can do it right now, I will do it. Okay. No, can't do it right now. I have to go to a Bazigal's lair to get the final set. It's okay. No, I just not have to remember to do that when I get there. Doesn't look like there's really oh, anything else my to be legs done are here. Just aching. I've never walked so much in my life. Can, can rest would be now? welcome, lest Please. we endanger ourselves. Okay, people, walk. We must rest soon. Who is getting squirrely? I don't I'm no use I to got anyone some tired. cheap beer for ya. Alright guys, that's it for today. And next time, once again, we will rescue this idiot's daughter. And depending on how things go from there, 
we might just go ahead and bump the storyline along a little bit. Which means basically going to either a Bazigal's Lair or Sindai's. So, you know, and neither one of those is a particular picnic. They're both an absolute fucking pain in the ass. They make use of that dumbass mechanic where basically you have to target the uh, main character while they spawn in infinite ads. So basically, if you don't take down the main guy, you'll get basically death of a thousand cuts. It's a bullshit mechanic and... It pretty much rewards desperation and not, you know, strategy or anything else like that. Well, with that, I will catch you next time.